Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Terrence, and I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone for a little while, but just got busy with some stuff. Um, today, we're going to be working on a teleportation effect, something like Nightcrawler does in X Men. We're going to be taking that video, and we're going to be making this. So, yeah, you can see here he teleports to smoke and then reappears later on in frame. We're gonna be doing this inside of Blender and After Effects. Before we go over to Blender, I'm gonna be showing you guys something. Um, one thing I noticed, whenever Nightcrawler teleports, he always, the smoke always takes the form that he's currently in. So, and there's always some movement along with the smoke. So like here, when the guy jumps, he does this, this rotate. So we're gonna be making our emitter rotate inside of blender and here he comes down so we gotta animate that with our emitter inside of blender as well and i think that way we'll, we'll get a more accurate representation of what happens and you can see here the smoke kind of does th this twirl and then when he appears it comes down on the ground along with him so that's what we're going for over in blender the first thing that you need to do is to create a cube if you haven't already um, deleted it, just tap into edit mode. I'm going to be adding some subdivisions, the different sides. And now I'm, I'm going to make this roughly the size of a human male. It doesn't have to be complete. Oh, turn on the, the x-ray. It doesn't have to be completely accurate, by the way. It just needs to kind of represent what a, what a human being would look like. All right, so now that we have this, I'm gonna go over to our modifiers here. I'm just gonna apply the smooth modifier. I'm gonna go to frame one, and uh, let's rotate this this direction. Hit I, add a rotation key, and then we should go four frames in the future and do a rotation, something like that. You can hit I and put another rotation key frame down, and now. We got that. It's it's really fast, but let's make it a, a little bit longer. Now we're gonna go up to object in quick effects. We're gonna add a quick smoke. We could create the domain by ourselves and do all that, but this just makes our lives a tad bit easier. We're scaling it on X and uh, on the Y axis to make it fit. Just a little better. We can move it here. And now onto the settings for the emitter. In here, you can see it already made the fluid flow, smoke, and the behavior is in flow. Now I want this to emit smoke for about five frames. So at frame five, we're gonna hit the keyframe right here, then go one frame forward. I'm just holding the Alt key and scrolling, by the way, to make keyframes. On frame four to frame six, we're gonna turn this off and create another keyframe. Now it should emit smoke from zero to five and then it stops, right? Now if we should play it back, the smoke is just gonna rise. It's not gonna look that great. But we're gonna come here, turn on initial velocity, set the normal to 100. That should work nicely. Then up here, what we're gonna be doing is setting the, the vorticity to, to about 0.6. I think that works and we're going to turn on dissolve because we want the, the, the smoke to fade away after a few seconds in about 16 17 seconds should work okay we can make the entire thing about 30 30 frames long since it's going to be on screen for a really short period of time and uh for me i, I keep my divisions at about um, 120 for the final render but for this preview you can set that to replay and send, uh, set our end here to 30 frames as well and just do a quick playthrough and that's what happens all right so to get a better look at what's going on we're going to need to increase these divisions so let's get up to 120 we're going to be setting this from replay to modular you can choose where you want to save it out i'm just going to leave it in the temporary folder for now 
because this is just a tutorial but I recommend saving it somewhere and now I'm gonna hit bake data so after the baking finishes you should have smoke that looks a little bit better and um, if we should scrub through you can see what the smoke looks like um, if you want to see it play back in real time you can come here to view and hit um, viewport render animation you can um, assign a shortcut I have mine set to control F10 so see that is gonna go through and render the frames once that is complete you come up here to render and hit view animation it's gonna be it's gonna show you from from wherever you have the camera and that's what it looks like right so now if we set our render over um, to cycles have my set to experimental you can um, go with supported now on rendering you want to be doing a few different things with this first off you want to ensure that our object here that emits the smoke doesn't show up in the render to do that quickly you can come up here and you can turn on the filters for for rendering and visibility I turn them on and I just turn off the render one so it still shows in the viewport but if I hit render then it just doesn't show up now we, we're gonna want some some lights in the scene I'm gonna be using the camera from this perspective so I'm gonna shift a add in a light and let's set the power to about 500 watts and it turn up the radius a little bit then here at the back I'm gonna duplicate this bring it over it's the same you can set this one to maybe 400 that should be fine and now our camera the camera that was used in the video I'm not sure the focal length but it seemed pretty wide about 24 millimeters if you know your camera um, focal length and you can add that in I'm just gonna adjust the camera here so let me lock it to view and this was taken from a lower angle so I'm gonna go maybe right here I'm gonna keep the, the smoke in frame you can always resize the the export afterwards and now I can do another another preview this is what it looks like and here we go the rotation going on and then the, the smoke just emits off this object and that works fine for my purposes um, for the second part of the tutorial you can go ahead and just animate the object going from one point to another the settings remain the same now for render you want to go over here to the render settings and you want to go to film and check transparent that way we can get this as a PNG without a background we're gonna turn on the denoising data pass let's go to compositing we're gonna add in a denoise node we're gonna connect to the image to the image normal to normal and the albedo to the albedo here's our render it doesn't show up that well since it's got the, the transparency thing going on but we can see that the smoke actually looks pretty good if you want your smoke to be more dense what you can do is go over to shading but what you want to do is you want to click on the smoke domain right here and uh, since you use quick smoke it's going to apply a principled volume shader to the volume output already what you want to do is simply turn up the density okay, so the more you crank it up the more dense the smoke is going to be like you can see here it's it's all preference when it comes to this so you can crank it up to something ridiculous or you can turn it down to make it a little bit more transparent I, I, I think the settings I used in for my video was about a density of, of six six point something that should work fine for you as well once all that is done you can start setting up your, your render settings how you do that is by going over here to the output settings you're gonna be selecting where you want to output the files once that is set, you select RGBA, so it has an alpha channel, and uh, you can go to render and hit render animation. Once your animation is rendered out, you should have all the frames, just 30 frames of the smoke appearing, like you can see here. There's 30 different frames from, from frame 1 down to frame 30 where it disappears. Now we're going to be going over to After Effects to finish this up. We got the video of the guy jumping. We need to get a clean plate from this where he's just not in the shot. 
and th this is going to be different for for each video near specific circumstances but for this video the way that i did it was i made two duplicates first off i can turn off the first one in the first shot he's not over this side of the, the screen right so i'm going to take the mask tool i'm just going to mask it out half of it so this one has just half of it masked out right and it's not on this side so i'm going to be going here and right click for the time and the freeze frame right so this video is just a frozen frame off right at that spot if we should move the mask over then we'll see him but on this side he just he simply isn't there now we turn on the other video here we can see him run jump off the bench he goes on the other side and his shadow that is right down here once his shadow disappears then we have pretty much a still frame with nothing in it so here on this side i can right click go to time and uh, freeze frame All right if we should turn this one off oh the freeze frame it messes around like this sometimes so you gotta click the frame itself and move the time or just like before once the shadow is gone he's now on this side on this frame and uh, on this frame he's on this side so we have a, a mask of here and right here it is just a perfect still frame if you want to you can add these to a pre-composition uh, oh here it is we can call this still yeah so now we got our still frame where nothing happens for, their, for the entire video can turn off the sound for him we don't need sound it doesn't have sound anyway and here we got the guy jumping we're gonna make a cut right where he jumps so let's hit the alt key and the little forward bracket thing all right we got him cut off we can duplicate it and we just drag this over and he reappears right here can keep that and uh, that's where we will have him back on screen so jump disappears reappears you can drag this out to the end so the next step it's it's quite simple you need to get your two videos I've got two here the first one looks like this I made as you drag it over you can see that I made the arms a, a little bit longer it was just an error I didn't realize that his, his arms weren't, weren't that that far apart but anyway about here we want it to disappear so we're going to drag this video over um or our smoke that is we're, to get it in here by the way you go to import file and you just click the first one and ensure the sequence is selected ng hit import all right so right here just gonna hit s scale it up and then we're gonna move it over hit r and we're gonna rotate it till it matches now i want it to fade in with him as he starts to rotate so i want it to be at 100 percent right here so i hit t for transfer opacity 100 percent bring this down to zero right here if we should hit play Now the next thing that I notice about um, Nightcrawler is whenever he teleports, there's always some some fragments or colors. Like the, the smoke always takes on the color of his clothes. So I think I'm going to be doing something like that here. We should look at composition one. You can see that when oh, let's turn this off. When the guy jumps right there in the smoke, there's some some warping going on. Yeah, so we're going to be adding that to this composition here. And the way that I went about it was I duplicated the smoke and I duplicated the man jumping. So I had a layer right under the smoke. And what I did here was I turned on, I got the, the tint effect and dragged it onto the smoke that's on top. I made both of them white. So we have white smoke pretty much. Then the guy we're going to turn on track mat. If you don't see this, come up. you can go right click up here, go to columns, and you turn on, is it switches? No, it's not switches. You turn on modes. Yeah. So here you see track mat. I'm going to set it on luma mat. 
right there. If we should turn off the ones below it, then you'll see the effect that it has. Whatever is in the white, it's going to be visible, and whatever is out of it, it's, it's not going to be visible. Right? So the guy is going to be visible for, for these frames. Let's make this layer start here, drag it out just a little bit further. There you go. So that's the guy, he's in the smoke and he's visible. Next thing we're going to do is we can right click here and go to, the, to distort. It's a real quick way to get to it. We're going to go to liquify. And now we're going to we can turn up the, the brush size a little bit and we can turn up the pressure. About 80 will do. And now we can start warping the, the hell out of this. It, 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 it doesn't matter really just, just go ahead and and warp them all right so now if we play it back that's what happens all right now let's turn on the other layers that are below this you can see what's going on all right now when the guy comes in we're gonna have a lot of white smoke oh, let's turn off the top one because the white smoke shouldn't show up the guy's gonna go all warpy and then goes away so we're gonna have his layer that's the man jumping the second one we're gonna hit a transparency right here and have it fade out so 100 to 0 and uh, oh no not 100 we should make it about about five percent four or five percent looks fine to me so there we go he warps to the smoke and it goes away. In reappearing, it's the exact same thing. You go back to your project, you import your your reappearing smoke. Just like last time, I'm gonna drop it right here. I'm gonna move it over and just adjust it to, to where the guy is. To, to rotate it a little bit more, just like that. And uh, the guy appears right here. So, smoke starts here, and there we go. Sticks is landing. So with this, just like before, we're gonna have the smoke. We're gonna hit opacity, T for opacity. We're gonna have it go from zero to 100. So zero right, right here, and the smoke fades in. Just like before, we're gonna duplicate the smoke. We're gonna duplicate the guy, and place one of the guys on the smoke on top. We're gonna take tint, drag it on, make it all white, then set the guy's layer to um, luma matte. That way, it it takes its um, it, it shows where, where where the smoke is white, pretty much, right where there where there's some some white going on. All right, then on the guy layer, we are gonna go to distort and again liquify can turn up our pressure and our brush size keeping on the first brush because that one that one just works and uh, you can get a little bit artistic here with your warping but yeah there we go that that works for me I'm gonna drag it this direction since he's falling yeah and uh, the guy he appears and then we want him to fade out so we hit T transparency and our first frame is going to be four percent and the frames after that it's going to go out to zero so four percent to zero percent and now if we show it you see he appears in he's all warped and then there he is now i added in some some sound effects and stuff you can do that on your own this tutorial doesn't cover that part but there we go That's a, a quick um, teleportation effect. Something kind of like what um, Nightcrawler does. I see now that the smoke that, that comes from Nightcrawler, it's it's got a lot more um, vorticity going on. So you could turn up the vorticity some more. You can get a lot more swirls in the smoke. Or maybe you could use um, a turbulence force field. You can get creative with it. Um, if this shot wasn't a still shot, you'd have to do some camera tracking to get the smoke stay where it should. That's a little, a little bit more complex, but 
Um, I think this tutorial should, should give you a good idea of how you can mix both these applications. And I won't be doing any color grading here since it's really simple smoke. It, it doesn't require much, but to match with, with some shots, you may need to, to do some color grading on the footage and the smoke to get it all look good together. All right, so that wraps up this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. And I will be posting videos um, a lot more consistent going forward. Things are, are kind of coming back together, so you should be hearing from me a lot more often and not uh, a month apart. All right, so thanks again, guys, for watching. This is Terrence, and peace out.